Here are four tips for a cleaner and more efficient setup on your Mac. Number one, use a productivity app. So instead of opening up your applications through the dock or through the Finder itself, it's way easier to use a productivity app. Currently I'm using Raycast here and I can find all the apps that I'm looking for just here right through this search here, which is similar to Spotlight but way more powerful than before. I can also search for files or I can use a dictionary, which I need quite a lot, or I can connect it to Google Drive or GitHub. So there is a lot that you can do and you're so much faster while using it. Number two, hide the dock completely. So currently we see here the dock here at the bottom, but since we can already open up all of our apps now with Raycast, we actually don't need it anymore. So let's go to the dock settings and we can set it to automatically hide and show the dock. So it's gone now, but still if we get here to the button, it comes up and it is, can be pretty annoying. And there's no setting to just get rid of it completely. But there is a little hack, let me show you. So what we can do is we can set the float value to 1000. So now I'm changing where it is floating in the background. So if I do this now, you can see that we don't get here the dock at all anymore. And this is exactly what I prefer. Number three, hide the menu bar. So this setup already looks pretty clean because it's almost empty. We don't have any icons, any dock, and that's exactly what I prefer. But still we got this menu bar at the top here. And it's not that big, but still I prefer to get rid of it. So let's do this again under the dock and menu settings. Here I can see automatically hide and show the menu bar on the desktop. All right, now this is gone. This looks now super clean, exactly how I like it but we still have access to the menu bar if we want to, which sometimes can still be useful. But what about if you need to go some of those settings here? So let's go to my terminal hyper again. And now when I use your shortcut on Raycast itself, I can also have access to the menu items of my current app. So it's called search menu item and it's just super useful. And just one more or one last step, which we don't have to do because we don't have to go here. We can just do it through Raycast itself. Number four, use the Arc browser. So let me open here up Chrome just to show you a little bit what's different here. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It's also quite clean, but there are, there are a few things that I think we still can improve. So let me show you what the Arc browser looks like. And that's the Arc browser by the browser company. It's a pretty new browser, which is yeah famous for this super clean look, which I prefer. So currently we're here on my blog and you can see we don't have, we don't see anything around it at all, which I prefer a lot. Here on the left, we still have the sidebar and here I have some of my tabs and I can also switch here between some profiles, which is pretty cool if you want to separate some of your um, tabs for work and for private projects like I have here, which is super useful. Of course, if you need to get to the URL, there are some short shortcuts to do that. And yeah, everything you can do here with shortcuts as well. And I really just like how clean this looks. So yeah, give the Arc browser a try. I really like it. These are my four tips for you for a cleaner and more efficient setup on your Mac. Enjoy.